Hey Bacon Bits, it's Captain Ace Bacon speaking. I got a new game, we're gonna play Ratchet and Clank. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. It's one of my favorite games I ever played in my whole life. Um, it was, it originally came out for the PS2 back in like 2002, I think. I actually remember getting the Tips and Tricks magazine for it. Back whenever I, I was trying to decide whether to get an Xbox, PS2, or a GameCube. And uh, it was one of the it was one of the big decision factors in whether I'd get the PS2 or not. Oh, I'll try not to talk during the cutscenes because they're just so so good. But that that right there is the main protagonist, Ratchet, because because uh, he's handy with a uh, with a wrench. Final step: attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. He sighs because he knows he doesn't have one. Meanwhile, in a factory planet. Yep, that's certainly not the killer robot pit pictured there. But there's a, that's Clank, he's the, not the main protagonist, but the, he's the, he's his sidekick. And he's, he's like a little version of that. So Ratchet and Clank, this is, a, this is one of the greatest game series ever, and um, it's made by Insomniac Games, who I believe also made the Spyro games. So, people that have seen Spyro, they, they tell me that it looks a lot like this one. And now we're, we're approaching the Vindolin homeworld. That's Ratchet's homeworld, just in case you couldn't catch that. And obviously, whenever a spaceship falls out of the sky, you gotta go get it. Okay, this is whoa. Okay, hold on. Why, why is the camera doing this? Well, I got I gotta change this. this uh, how do I change this? Oh, camera though. Okay, it's certainly not normal. It's it's already reversed because I just pushed right and it went left. So we're gonna switch these around. I. Probably, I don't know. This one's probably reversed as well. So we are here to offer you advice. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. You push left, you turn left. That's much better. I just noticed those little uh, those little monsters down there. They make the same noise that Chester does from Don't Starve. But th those aren't as uh, helpful as Chester. No, well, we can we can do all the carrying we need on our own. We're gonna smash up some, smash up crates, cause we're we're gonna need all the bolts we can find. And bolts are used as currency in this game, and it's this is pretty much this is one of the largest portions of the game right here. It's just collecting bolts, and like sometimes it's just so like drawn out and whatnot. I, I won't make you watch it. I'll me like backtrack and whatnot just to collect bolts but they're just want spoiler alert there's a there's a fair amount of just smashing crates to collect all the bolts inside oh cool we can interrupt by pressing triangle and we can interrupt with one throw of the wrench because we're nifty I love this game because this is such a fun game. I figured it would be a good good game to do as a playthrough because just how nifty it was back in the day. Because I, I just remember to like staying up late, playing this game, collecting bolts. 
me and my cousin, I, my cousin actually got this game, and I, I stayed up like all night playing his copy of it. And that's life-saving nanotech, which we won't need. We'll, we'll, we're just that bad. We're, we'll do, we'll just fly through this game. I'm sure because I've played this game like a billion times, so I know we're. I, I would say that I know where everything is, but because I've played this game so much, but I haven't even owned this game in like three, four years, so I haven't played it any longer. But you know it's you know it's a really good game whenever uh, you buy it and after years of uh, not playing it and having sold it back because of how much fun you had and everything. But you stop, after after a while you just stop playing even your most favorite game. But you know it's a really good game when then one day you're just like I want to play that game again and you actually go out and buy another copy of it. And I. And when I say I went out and bought another copy of this game, that's like an understatement. Alright, and we're gonna, now that we've got some ammo, we're gonna throw some bombs here. Because you get, you get crazy cool weapons in this game, and that's, this one's one of the more tame ones, like the bomb glove. Because it's pretty much like throwing grenades. But anyway, when I say I bought this game, or went out and bought this game, I originally... I got, I got the hankering to play this game because I saw that they remastered it for the PS3 and put all of the first three games together. So I saw that and I was like, well, I'm just going to go to GameStop and buy the originals for the PS2. So I went to GameStop.com, bought all those, and uh, had them delivered. And I was, so a couple of days later, after wanting to play this game for so long, uh, the game finally gets there, I pop it into the PS3 I have, and then I learn that the newer PS3s aren't backwards compatible. I like this, look at him, he just looks around and makes sure no one's looking, he's like, Hey look, broken junk, happy as can be. But yeah, newer PS3s aren't backwards compatible, but the original ones that came out, the 20 gigabyte hard drive 60 and the early 80 models, those all were backwards compatible. Interesting. But lo and behold, mine You're wasn't. Handy with your wrench. So I wound up breaking. Oh, yeah, he's he built a ship. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Captain Cork. Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... No Palales. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drek, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. It's really convenient that he can start up any ship he wants. Deal. This game has a lot of cutscenes in it, but I, I love the story of it. It's so so simple and easy to follow. 
This could be a problem. Take care of it. There's plot twist, Drek's so unambiguously oh, evil, this is so great. So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you, you need. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw okay. my troops. Time's really? actually kind of yeah. getting along, so. It's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Okay, so after these, uh, after this cutscene ends, we're we're probably gonna have to wrap it up. But yeah, eventually, like I, w I broke down and just buying. I bought the digitally remastered version off the oh. PSN network. Uh, Clank, where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants, if there are any left. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Like and favorite if you enjoyed, and subscribe to see more videos. Okay.